the left thumb. Do you go long or do you go short on the grip? I'm gonna share my thoughts. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I want to talk to you about the lead hand thumb. There's been a little bit of chat going around, should it be long, should it be short? Well, interesting topic. And the relevance of the left thumb really is about the pressure that it's gonna to apply to the golf club. When we take our usual grip, where we, in old money, used to have the thumb down the side of the golf club, should I say the top of the golf club, when we made a backswing, it used to have an impact on the load of the shaft. So if you had a short thumb, it would create more support up. It would create an opportunity to have less wrist set. A longer thumb, by definition, because it's longer, it actually gives you more ability to set the golf club. Now the left thumb, if you've got the thumb down the top of the shaft, you would tend to have a grip that's on the slightly weaker side of life. And so really the ability or the pressure that the thumb can exert on the golf club through strike is going to be limited. The only reason or the only way you could apply pressure on the thumb through strike would be down. And if you're applying pressure down on the golf club with the left thumb, you would actually be raising the handle, wouldn't you? And if you are raising the handle, the club head would pull in. And so therefore, it would actually help you and encourage you to get a little bit of early extension. Huh. Early extension, what? If you haven't seen my video on early extension, you're missing out, go check that out. Therefore, the left hand, when we get it stronger, and if you haven't seen it, my ultimate grip guide, when the left hand is in a better position and the pad of the left hand sits more on top of the golf club, now all of a sudden the left thumb sits more to the side of the golf club. When we then take that golf club up to the top of the backswing, depending on the wrist angle, will dictate whether the thumb sits more on the side of the golf club or close to being underneath it. But really, what the thumb then offers is the ability to create force on the side of the shaft through strike. The side of the shaft creating the head an opportunity to swing to the side. If you've got pressure on the side of the shaft and the club here can swing to the side, and then we've got the pad of the hand that allows the handle to be pushed back down, you've now got an environment that you could create some good control on your ability to start to line the face up through strike. I did a video on power impact and it talked about how we want to see a bit more cup through strike. Now, that will be something that's maybe foreign to a lot of you because a lot of you have been taught that we want to flatten out the left wrist to create shaftling. But the pressure on the butt of the golf club, the opportunity for this golf club to then swing around you, when you look at the overhead camera, you can appreciate that this club head swinging in and back in is very much down to the ability of the left hand and the left shoulder to interact with each other to make the golf club swing around. Therefore, if the left thumb is long, your ability to create force that's gonna make the club head start to unload the lever would be less. So my advice to you would be always short thumb. Short thumb gives us more pressure on the head to make the head swing. More pressure on the shaft, should I say, to make the head swing. So that when we're down through strike here, as I'm applying pressure on the handle, and then I'm allowing the left thumb to feel like the club head can swing around, both of those two pressure points, the pad of the left hand and the left thumb, 
really give me the opportunity to have a little bit more, and again, I don't like using the word control, but the influence on the head would be greater. The left wrist, as a, as a shape for my money, through strike, wants to feel like it's got more cup in it. Because the se sensation of this left hand and the forearm rotation that we have through strike will be aided and helped by the thumb. So if the left thumb is long, as I say, the pressure will be less. If the left thumb is shorter, the pressure will be more. And so it gives us the chance to get the head swinging out and around. As the club transitions, because of where the thumb is, I don't really place much importance on what the hand and the thumb are doing in transition in terms of support. But what I am interested in is how much that left hand can create force on the club head through strike to get it to all line up. So a great little drill to give you a sensation of how this left hand works. If you get yourself set up and grip it as you do normally, lift the club shaft up and take your right hand or your, your trail hand and pop it just below the grip. Then make a backswing halfway, left arm parallel to the, to the floor is good enough. And then start to sense how the handle working down underneath us and I've had a lot of criticism about my overhead view video of what happened next about the handle moving forwards and then the handle working down and around. Look, just because the handle doesn't go miles out as I demonstrated in the video doesn't mean to say that people aren't feeling it and applying it. So take it at, at the value that you wanna see. So this, this drill here, the hand sits directly under the shoulder. The right hand comes forwards and is below the grip. We then make the, the half back swing with left arm parallel to the ground. And then you start to feel how the left hand pushes down, the left thumb and the right hand then create the influence for the golf club to swing around. And when we get through to this side here, my left hand is still got the force down my left wrist feels a bit more cupped and you can see that the shape of the club face is in good order. But through strike here, my left thumb and my right hand are giving me the opportunity to kick the left hand back and to swing the club head around, which is crucial when it comes for driver. When the lever arm gets longer, that left thumb will really help you. I hope you found that useful. Stay tuned for more videos. They're coming at you a little bit more now. Back is in a better place. Thanks for watching. As you see, that's good coaching.